بارك الله فيك جزاك الله خير حول ولا قوة إلا بالله Shahafidahu Allah Ta'ala He say Falladhi yakhafu min ghayri Allah So the one that fear Other than Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala Fima la yaqdir In those things That only Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala Has the ability And on in those things That only Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala Has the ability This person has committed Shirk al-Akbar Wa hadha yusamma Khawf al-Ibadah And this is called Khawf al-Ibadah The fear of worship Wa khawf al-Shirk Right? And the fear of shirk. The fear of shirk. So it is called khawful ibadah wa khawful shirk. And he say, mean it's called khawful ibadah. And he say, wa khawful shirk kathirun min al-nas. He say that the fear of shirk, you find it in many of the people, wal-iyyadhu billah. He say, wa yakhafuna min al-qubur aw min al-awliya. So they fear in regard to the to those who are in the grave. They fear in the, in the for the for those that are in the grave. And likewise, that they fear from the awliya, meaning the righteous ones and the like. He said, يَخَافُونَ مِنَ الشَّيَاطِينَ And they fear from the shaytan. يَخَافُونَ مِنَ الْجِنِّ They will fear يعني, for the jinn. وَلِذَلِكَ This is why يَقُومُونَ That they will be standing بِتَقْدِيمِ الْقُرْبَانِ لَهُمْ That they will, they will be processing or doing these actions of seeking nearness. They will be doing these acts of seeking nearness with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's why you kadimuna lahum adhabaih. That's why they will be performing for them sacrifice. They will be performing sacrifice for them. And likewise, that they will be performing vowing one nudur, one nudur, and they will be performing some vow for them. And likewise, well atima wa ghayri dalik, and they will be giving them food. Right? They will be giving them food. As the example we gave earlier. You got these individuals, they will prepare some food. They will put some nice sour cream, very nice, and they will place it right there on those statues. And nobody will eat it until it is, it is like the sun dries it out and they bring someone else, something else. Or they will be cooking some, just like you find this, uh, this Buddha worshippers. How they will be putting some oranges or some apples under their statues. Or they will even put, cook a meal and put it right there. Or they put some slice of pizza, put it right there for the Buddha. No wonder why this guy is fat, huh? With all those meals that they have for him. Same thing. Same thing. And that one, alhamdulillah, will fall to what is called al khawf sirri Inshallah, we'll detail that for the next one. But the khawf sirri is part of khawf shirk Because it will lead the individual to commit shirk. It will lead the individual to commit shirk. Because if they don't do it, let's say if they stay one year, they didn't do it. And there is no rain. What do you think they will say? And if they do it, they kill the fattest cow. And there's abundance of rain. The, the, what you call it, the harvest was nice. Never happened like this. The corns, the, the weed, the, all of that is nice, Barakallahu. What would they say? Because we have done one of the, we killed the fattest cow. So this is why the sheikh, right, they were in the green day, his grave has given us the best rain. If they would not do it this year and there is no rain, they will what? They will blame it on the fact that they did not 
sacrifice for the sheikh. You see how the shaitan will play? نسأل الله السلام والعافية ولذلك and this is why يقومون بتقديم القربان this is why القربات this is why they will be putting forth right some actions of seeking nearness with them whether it is slaughtering for them whether it is giving them making food for them whether it is anything that they think that this is seeking nearness with them that they will do it and the Shafidahullah Tabaraka wa ta'ala, he mentioned, <coughs> he say, he say, he say, wa ghayri dhalika minal, minal nukud, and even giving out cash money, even out giving cash money. In the grave, right, alhamdulillah, I'm going to speak of what I know, in the grave in, 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 in Tuba, in Senegal, when these guys, they go for the pilgrimage, and they will be throwing money. Okay, this guy, they will have, you know, like this big old bags. Like those like 100 kilogram bags of rice. This was those bags that they will take. They will fill it up. I'm talking about fill it up to the, to the, to the tea with what? With coins and, and money. Fill it up, Barakallah, with coins and money. I mean cash money. What you call it? Bills and coins. Fill it up. Why? Because people, they will come, they will throw the, 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 the money in the grave in the shrine and throwing that money barakallah fikum it is of two things that they do with it or three number one seeking protection from him number three seeking shafa'a for, for them from them and number three barakallah fikum is seeking baraka from them seeking protection seeking baraka and seeking shafa'a this is why they will do it so they will think that if I throw this hundred dollars this hundred dollar bill, alhamdulillah, you know what I'm saying? I will when I go back to the to the to the to the to the to the field, I'll be able to have a good barakallah fikum, what you call it, a, a rainy season. Or I'll have a lot of corns or a lot of you know, my field will be very productive. This is what they will have in their mind. Well Huh? So it's similar to our wish Huh? Yeah, same thing. There's no difference. No difference. No difference at whatsoever. Whatsoever. So therefore, the Shafidahullah, he mentioned, مِنَ And other than this, that they would throw عَلَىٰ أَدْرِحَتِهِمْ That they will be throwing in the, in the shrines, meaning in the tombs, in the graves and the like, meaning in the tombs. He said, مِنْ أَجْلِ أَنْ يُسَلِّمُوا مِنْ, شُرُ مِنْ, شُ مِنْ شَرِّهِمْ So they will free themselves from the evil that could be coming from the from the person in the grave so they will be throwing the money to seek protection from the harm that could be coming from the person in the grave aw yanalu min khayrihim or they could reach they could have the good that they could come out from them this person in the grave if this person would have have any good with him in the grave i don't think he would be remaining in the grave i mean honestly if a person is in a room and there is no light, right? No air, no air, no light, no nothing, no food, no drink. If he has the ability to come out that room, he will come out that room. Right? If a person is in the room and he's sweating because there is no air, no water, no food, no nothing. He's alone. If he has the ability to open the door and break out, he will do so. So now, but this individual, they are seeking air, water, food in the, from the guy that is in the grave. Seeking offsprings, seeking wives, seeking a good business, seeking a good you know, school, graduating and, the, and this and the third from the person that is in the grave. That's why when the person loses his aqidah, he loses his intelligence and his what you call the word from him being a, a human humanity. Huh? Humanity. his humanity yes he will lose his humanity a person not having a correct aqidah will lose his humanity he will be human no more it is as if somebody took a rope and tied on his neck and dragging him like a cat or a dog or a sheep or a cow exactly what this guy is doing to them 
Why? Because their aqidah is batil. So anyone that gets up and try to rectify their aqidah, they will start attacking you. Because they don't want these individuals to wake up from their, from their sleep. They want to keep them under control. They start bashing, man, this guy, he has been, he's been paid by Saudi. <laughs> he's been paid by Saudi. This guy, they are against the messenger, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. They hate the prophet, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. What do you think? If a person, you were told, you don't know, you were told, oh, this guy, he hate the messenger, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Would you listen to him? No, you won't. Oh man, this he is a spy from the Saudi. He is paid by the, the Saudi. They paid him because they are against our, our, our elders that are in, in, in here. Oh, this, the Saudi paid him? Alhamdulillah, let it be. Huh? Get some reals. Huh? Okay, this, they, this is how they lie on, 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 on the people of Tawheed. This is how they lie against the ulama wal ayyadhibili. Just because they are clarifying the issues of aqidah. They clarify in detail the issue of what? The issues of shirk wal ayyadu billah. Naam. Our hometown, when we were growing up, there's one guy bringing the sunnah in. Alhamdulillah. Rahimahullah, he passed away right now. Rahimahullah. They say, when he give the sugar to the people. When he give to? Sugar. Okay, okay, okay. They so should. They quit paying him for doing this. Subhanallah. 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 Now the men, alhamdulillah, being upon the sunnah, giving sadaqah, they say don't take it because it is the, the Arab countries that are giving him so to, to, to recruit. And this is exactly what them they are doing. That's exactly what them they are doing. This is one individual that when they will have their gammu, their, their maulud, now the biggest sheikh, the biggest sheikh, Right, meaning the head of them. At night, before they cook the rice, they will put it on a what you call it on a tart, like the tart that we be where we be putting on when we pray outside. They will put on the, they will put the rice on a big tart top. They will empty the rice from the bags, and they will put it on a big tart. In him, he will take a shower over that rice. Wow. <laughs> do you think that these individuals? They just will tell these people foolishness and they will believe it. No, they will do some witchcraft on them. So before they, this guy eat the rice, they don't even know what they're eating. The man will take a shower over the rice. Amalan sihriyan. Huh? Subhanallah al -Azim. They will, this biggest tijani share in Senegal. Seriously, his name, uh, what's his name again? The guy that's a junior? Junior, the biggest guy. The biggest t -giant. This is what exactly they do. The other one, Barakallah, that has the biggest, yeah, the youth, all of them, you know, locked down. This individual, anytime that the, these guys, they will go to him, he will, they will always eat meat. Always eat meat. And until, alhamdulillah, one of the disciples that Allah guided to come out, he was the she she was the one exposing why this individual always served me to the youth because of the blood that he is sacrificing for the jinn so he will have more population more disciples and that's the truth this individual had disciple like psh, nobody has if he was running for president he would beat the president today and with the more you have gathering the more you have money and power because now the politician they want you right and on the top of that whatever you tell these kids you tell them everybody bring five hundred dollars every six months